If you're part of today's woke revolution, you need to study the part of revolutions where they spin out of control because the revolutionaries get so drunk on their own purifying elixir, they imagine they can reinvent the very nature of human beings. <laughs> communists, communists thought selfishness, selfishness could be cast out of human nature. Russian revolutionaries spoke of the new Soviet man who wasn't motivated by self-interest but instead wanted to be part of a collective. No, it turns out he wanted to be on a yacht in a Gucci tracksuit holding a vodka and a prostitute. <laughs> Not standing in line all day for a potato. <laughs> the problem with communism and with some very recent ideologies here at home is that they think you can change reality by screaming at it that you can bend human nature by holding your breath. But that's the difference between reality and your mommy. <laughs> Lincoln once said that you can repeal all past history, but you still cannot repeal human nature. But he's canceled now, so fuck him. <laughs> Yesterday I asked chat GPT, are there any similarities between today's woke revolution and Chairman Mao's cultural revolution of the 1960s? And it wrote back, how long do you have? <laughs> Because, again, in China, we saw how a revolutionary thought he could do a page one rewrite of humans. Mao ordered his citizens to throw off the four olds, old thinking, old culture, old customs, and old habits. So um, your whole life went in the garbage overnight, no biggie. And those who resisted were attacked by an army of purifiers called the Red Guard who went around the country putting dunce caps on people, yeah, who didn't take to being a new kind of mortal being. A lot of pointing and shaming went on, oh, and about a million dead, and the only way to survive was to plead insanity for the crime of being insufficiently radical, then apologize and thank the state for the chance to see what a piece of shit you are, and of course submit to re-education, or as we call it here in America, freshman orientation.